Hi and welcome back or welcome to my All The Perfume YouTube channel. In this video I'll be reviewing the Paris Hilton Rush Line. So if you have subscribed to me for a little while or if you follow me over on Instagram you will know that I am a huge fan of the Paris Hilton fragrance line. She brought out her first scent in 2004 and it really did surprise me. And what I like about Paris is that she still continues to kind of stand by those early fragrances. She still promotes them and there are new releases even now, which is exciting. I think with other celebrities, we've kind of seen ranges come and go and then there's no mention of those scents. They kind of feel like they were a moment, they're lost in the past. So yeah, I really enjoy that this line is still going. And indeed the Rush line began in 2016 and we've now got seven perfumes here. I have reviewed some of them individually, I've reviewed my collection as a whole, but this is the first time I'm getting all seven together to review. I will of course link those previous videos below, but for now let's get into our Rush scents. So first up we have Gold Rush, launched in 2016. In the top of this scent we have Nectarine, Lemon and Bergamot, in the middle Violet, Orchid and Rose, and in the base Praline, Vanilla and Cashmere Wood. I've got a little bit of a dent here going on actually. Now I know that's not a lot but relative to my collection the fact that it's been sprayed a few times is testament to how much I like it. So I've got my blotter here. Let's give it a spray although I can already actually smell this. So Gold Rush smells really beautiful. It is a creamy but juicy scent which I can only compare to Juicy Couture's Viva La Juicy. I tend to wear this at night before bed and I think I need to start branching out and wearing it for special occasions, dinners, going out to events because I would love to smell of this in the daytime and even though it's so comforting and cosy to have it at night, yeah, it's, it's being a little bit wasted on me. Like I'm wearing it quite a lot but it needs to be taken out of doors. This is very vanilla-y and that lemon is really lovely in the top as well. This is well done and if you like your Juicy Couture scents, this is worth checking out. It is available on Fragrance X. It is still available on the Paris Hilton Fragrance website and I did buy from them. I bought my Love Rush and my Ruby Rush from their site. I was really pleased with the, the postage, the delivery, everything was fine. And I have also bought from Fragrance X before. So I would recommend this if you're after a evening maybe like a winter scent as well I'd say for this one. I might be a little bit biased by the gold packaging but I feel it's that kind of chilly weather extra special occasion scent. Launched in 2017 this is Rosé Rush. In the top of this one we have Rose Petals and Lychee. In the middle May Rose, Papaya and Peony and in the base White Musk and Cedar. And I adore this perfume. This is one that I just feel that fragrance lovers need to test because it smells so good. It's got nice associations for me with Christmas, the Christmas I bought it. I didn't get it for Christmas, I was just treating myself to a lot of new perfumes. And this is the prettiest sparkling rose as well, the bottle kind of um, matches nicely. That lychee is so juicy, I love it and it reminds me of the Jo Malone rose scent as well. But once again, personally I'm kind of in the bedtime trap with this. As it's on display, I reach for it before bed. I love that comfort from how much I love it and how it reminds me of Christmas and my son was born on Christmas day three years ago. So that's great, but I need to take this outdoors more. It's so, so pretty. You can still buy this, thankfully. Um, it's on the Paris Hilton Fragrance website and it is on Amazon, but a little more than I would want to pay. It's about 54 pounds on there at the moment. Yeah, this is worth looking for or if you can find Rosé Rush from a reseller, that'd be really great too. Launched in 2018, this is Platinum Rush. In the top of this scent, there are red apple, mango and pear notes. In the middle, green notes, watery notes, lily of the valley and magnolia, and in the base, patchouli, amber and musk. And I cannot believe that at the moment, this perfume is selling for 13 pounds over on Amazon. So that's really great. And it's been like that for a little while. I just I'm incredulous that these sell so cheaply and that I don't see 
enough people online talking about them. They're so well done. So let's give this a spray. That's really good and it wasn't an instant love for me. It was one that my husband always complimented and seemed to like the best of these original three, the first three that I bought. But for me, I definitely appreciate it more over time. It is watery for sure. It's crisp, it's kind of sparkling. The apple note is in there and the pear and it's reminded me of Paris Hilton's first scent. So kind of refreshing. But this sparkles like Rosé Rush does and in the way you would expect from this lovely sparkly design. It's a lot like Victoria's Secret's bombshell fragrance, so I feel a bit like I'm stepping into a Victoria's Secret store and smelling that scent you get, which is no bad thing. And also the magnolia in the middle has me thinking of Britney Spears' Curious perfume. So this is kind of like what Curious would smell like if it was sparkling, maybe a bit more suited for evening wear, like occasion wear more crisp with that apple coming through. It's pretty, it's nicely done, and even though it does remind me of some of those other scents, this feels distinctive, like it's not a forgettable scent that's, you know, fruits and flowers and doesn't smell of too much. It's strong and it projects really well, and yeah, it's a well done quality scent. So I do think this is worth checking out for that price, and you can find it in the usual places too, like Fragrance X, like I've mentioned, but just be aware it's sold out on the Paris Hilton Fragrance website. So yeah, if your kind of watery, refreshing scents appeal to you, I would say that yeah, Platinum Rush is definitely worth a look. 2019 saw the launch of Lux Rush. This one has pink peony and bergamot in the top, in the middle, tuberose and tiger lily, and in the base, milk mousse, sandalwood and patchouli. And this scent was harder to get hold of for me, I saw that it was launched in the US and then it took a while to be able to get hold of it easily in the UK and of course I wanted to collect it for the amazing bottle. Um, let's give it a test. This smells really good. It is more understated than the other fragrances. So for me personally, you know, Gold Rush, Rosé Rush, I love them. I want a smell of them. They're amazing. And Platinum Rush I know smells really good. It feels like kind of somebody else's scent but I appreciate it. This is one I've had to think about it more, but it does smell really good. It's just, there's something, yeah, understated and classic about it. So I can't help but think of like Ralph Lauren's Romance, which used to be my signature scent back in the day. I got through bottles and bottles of that and it smells good, kind of mature, kind of classic, and it would be great for a an evening out where yeah, you want to smell all of those things, but nothing too out there or anything that could offend. This is woody with that lovely milk mousse note. I mean, I just love the fact it's got milk mousse in it and that would have had me buying it anyway, regardless of the beautiful bottle. I need to wear this for an evening out. So I'm saying that about all of these now. This is what I need to do with this. Spray lots of it, feel good. Love that woody scent because wooden perfumes is an absolute love for me and I can appreciate it more. So yeah, if you are a collector, absolutely check out Fragrance X for this. It's still available on the Paris Hilton website as well. Just for me, this isn't as much of a, a love or anything too different, I guess. But how great would it be if it was your like classic go-to evening scent with that bottle? Like that would look great on a dressing table. So yeah, that is Lux Rush. Also launched in 2019, this is Pink Rush. In the top of this, we have bergamot and quince. In the middle, osmanthus and Turkish rose. And in the base, vanilla, musk, amber, and tonka. So this was another one, like Lux Rush, that was also hard to get. And I saw it in the US and its release before I could find it in the UK. And I was glad when I did because I was collecting the bottles. Let's give it a spray. This smells really pretty. And yeah, not least for that beautiful bottle which in pictures I think looks better than Rosé Rush, but they're all really nice. So I read somewhere, and I just can't unhear this now, this is Paris Hilton's answer to Marc Jacobs Daisy. Even though they only share the musk in common, so I'm not sure how that's happened. I was surprised to see that Marc Jacobs Daisy has a strawberry note actually, and yeah, with these notes, obviously very floral, not too vanilla-y, the vanilla isn't strong. I can smell the amber. It's 
very light, it's airy, it would be great for spring, even though this bottle is kind of suggesting that evening out kind of vibe as well. But this is a lovely, pretty spring scent. Very floral, very nice. This would make a really nice gift actually, wouldn't it? Like pink, pleasing, you know, it's Barbie year, it's the year of pink, this would be great. It is still available like the others on the Paris Hilton Fragrance website. Um, I believe it's on Fragrance X too, so they are your places to check out. Just don't pay too much. It's pretty, for me personally, not a love because I'm not a big fan of the original Daisy. So yeah, I like this. I mean, of course I have to have it for the bottle, but um, in terms of the scent, I don't reach for it too much. This isn't really a me scent. Now we're onto the later releases, and this is Ruby Rush, launched in 2022. In the top of this scent, we have cherry and whipped cream. In the middle, raspberry bloom and water lily. And in the base, we've got vanilla, musk and sandalwood. And I waited a long time to get my hands on this. I loved it for the bottle, of course, again, and the cherry note. And then finally, I treated myself this year when I saw it was available on the Paris Hilton fragrance website. That site saved the day. I bought this and Love Rush. The shipping wasn't too bad, so yeah, worth having a look there if you're interested in any of these scents. So the cherry is really strong in this and it's a little bit boozy. Oh, it's so good. I've worn this a few times. Now I can't really smell the cream, but I do get the wood and I get that in the dry down. It's also quite musky. So for me, this is a little bit like Ariana Grande's Sweet Light Candy, but I've said that in contrast to that one where you get your blackberry and black currant, this is what the cherry does in its place. But they don't share too many of the notes, but yeah, they've got they've got something in common. I can't believe I was so impressed by this because when I bought my Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry, I kind of felt I had the definitive cherry scent and I've not bought a Zara cherry perfume before, cherry smoothie, you might know the one I mean. And there was a niche house with a cherry scent. I just thought, now I've got my cherry with my, my Kayali, I don't need it. But Ruby Rush brings something different. It brings that kind of booziness and I love that blast in the opening. It's strong, yeah, it's really good. Um, I wish I could smell the whipped cream, but I can't. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice well done scent that I have worn lots of and feel good. I feel like it does smell when you, you wear it, it projects. Whereas I know some people have found that it kind of fades and they don't feel it's strong or noticeable. Now I feel like I'm wearing a good perfume when I wear this for sure. So yeah, Ruby Rush, I would recommend and check out the Paris Hilton official site. So also launched in 2022, we have Love Rush. In the top of this scent, bergamot, apricot and mandarin orange. In the middle, gardenia and Tunisian orange blossom. And in the base, musk, vanilla and sandalwood. And this is the scent that Paris Hilton is said to have worn at her wedding and celebrates her wedding day by having been released on her one year anniversary. And I bought this really as a collector. Like I didn't expect to particularly love it because you know, I've said before, I'm not a white wedding person. The floral notes, yeah, I didn't think it'd be me. But I've been really pleasantly surprised by this one. And I just get this lovely green feeling when I smell this, like fresh outdoors in the woods. Like I've just got the picture in my head. It smells really good. And then I get the powdery gardenia and I feel I could be in a wedding dress shop which yeah, isn't my number one setting, but it feels luxury, maybe like a hotel might be a better way of describing it for me. So it smells expensive, floral and pretty. And I really loved how this smelled on my skin. I remember when I was first testing it for my original review, like smelling it on myself the next day and thinking like, what is that? That smells really good. So I have been very pleasantly surprised by Love Rush and I just love how that can happen with perfume sometimes. You have it all lined up, you think you know which ones will be your favourites, and then, yeah, this isn't my favourite of the collection, but I really do enjoy it. I just need more occasions to wear it. I'm not sure quite at the moment in my life where this one would suit, but you know what? Maybe for a little trip I'm having next month, an outdoorsy kind of farmhouse trip, maybe that needs to be it, and I can feel kind of luxe and outdoorsy all at the same time, yeah. So I bought mine from the Paris Hilton fragrance site, which I'm so pleased exists and they're still selling those fragrances. 
with Ruby Rush, as I said, and the shipping wasn't too bad. Otherwise, it's quite hard to find in the UK, but yeah, if you did want to try it, it's not easy to test, but you can buy it for quite a fair price. I would say just don't pay more than £40. So that is my Rush collection. That is the Rush collection. That is all seven of the fragrances. If I had to put them in order of my favourites, Rosé Rush has to be first, then Gold Rush, Ruby Rush, Platinum and Love Rush have to be equal, then Lux Rush, and then, yeah, lastly, Pink Rush. So that is what I think of the scents. Please do chat to me in the comments. I would love to know if you've tried these or which ones appeal to you. So I usually include my is it worth it, are they worth it section in my videos, but this time I have talked quite a bit about price points along the way. So I will include all the links I can to where to shop these fragrances. And I would just say, as I have mentioned before, don't pay more than about £40 for them. If you can test them, great, but it is pretty hard in the UK with the Paris Hilton scents. I think they'd make a really good gift. I think any one of them would be well received. Nothing here is too outlandish or different. They are pretty pleasing, enjoyable scents. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you have more insight into what these perfumes are like. Please do give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I've got lots of reviews to look back on and lots coming up. You can find me over on Instagram where I post daily, on my blog, TikTok and also on threads. Thank you again and I'll see you in my next video.